All right, everyone, it is nine o'clock so we can get started. Good morning, welcome to HIT and CORE. My name is Julie, I'll be your instructor for today. Um, quick announcement before we get going. The National Recreational Movement Challenge has been extended through August 2020. We are competing against universities across the nation through physical activity tracking. Free to sign up using your .edu email. You will also get access to live and recorded fitness classes from schools across the nation. You can find a quick link at rec.arizona.edu slash about slash programming dash demand, along with the rest of our on-demand content and virtual class schedule. With that being said, we can go again and head, get started. It is all body weight. As always today, you might want a mat. Um, and if you want to play your own music, I won't be playing any, so now's a good time to get it set up. And let's get to it. We're going to start with a little warm up on the ground today. So come on down onto your mat. You want to find that beautiful tabletop, hands under shoulders, knees are under hips. From here, we're going to send those hips back, find a little child's pose, and then rock forward, trying to find that high plank, squeeze it through the glutes, and rock back. Going at your own pace, just kind of rocking and rolling, stretching out the core, activating the body, waking it up. One more, just like that. We're gonna move it into a downward facing dog. So tuck the toes under, lift the hips up, press them nice and high. Take a couple pedals here, just releasing the hamstrings, pressing that chest through the hands. And then from here, we're gonna shift forward into that high plank. Hold, find a little pause, and then shift back. Once again, going at your own pace, finding a little roll forward, finding that high plank, and then pushing back. Couple more just like that. Squeeze it through the core at the bottom, pressing through the heels at the top. One more. And from here, we're going to return into that tabletop. We're going to do a little glute activation. So from here, we're going to do a little fire hydrant. Take one leg, put it up into the side, and back down. Doesn't have to be high. You're trying to focus on keeping those hips good and square. And just feeling that little bit of a squeeze. So important to get those glutes fired up so that when we hit a big leg circuit today, we'll be ready to go, ready to get strong. And let's move it into a kickback. So you want to kick back and in flexing that foot, kicking, pulling in. Excellent. Big press to that heel, keeping that spine nice and long, feeling that glute activation. One more. We're gonna lie onto our sides, finding one line from your elbow to your hip, and then your hips to your heels. Stacking the knees, you're gonna take that top knee, rotate it open and down. Feel free to lie on down. Just make sure those hips and those heels stay in line. Couple clamshells. You're trying to keep those hips square. So you don't want to open so much that you start rotating open. Just a little lift and lower is all you need. Feeling that rotation activation. We got a big glute circuit coming towards the end of class today. Last one here and then we're going to switch to the other side. We're going to just start with the clamshell straight away on the other side. So lying on down, knees together, heels in line with the butt. Little lift and squeeze. Trying to pull that knee towards the ceiling. Taking it nice and easy, striking a little pose. One of my favorite moves to do if I'm like sitting watching TV and wanna, wanna work on a little strength. And coming into that tabletop, we're gonna go into the fire hydrants on the second side. So find that tabletop, and then lift and lower. Beautiful. You should be feeling that little bit of work. It shouldn't be super intense, but it should be enough that you're feeling the glutes and the legs start to wake up a little bit more. Maybe a slight increase in my heart rate too. Let's do one more and then we're going to move into those kickbacks. Here we go, kick it back, pull it in. 
So you want to keep a little bit of a core activation here to really brace the belly as you push that leg out. Try to keep those hips square to the ground. Kick. And excellent. A couple more reps here. Let's do one more. And we're going to find a high, a kneeling high point. So from that tabletop, we're going to walk those hands forward, squeeze the glutes, and find that long line from your shoulders to your hips, from your hips to your knees. You're welcome to stay here if you want to challenge. Think about walking those hands a little bit more forward. Feel that core really engaged. Pause it for a second, and then walk it back in to neutral. So at neutral, you want your hands directly under your shoulders here if you want that challenge. Take a few steps forward. Ooh, feel that core engagement. Only doing a couple here, just trying to fire things up before we get up off the ground. And you can also just hold that plank. One more time here. And to finish up the ground portion of the warm, let's do 10 push-ups, knees or toes. We go 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's pop on up. Find a nice Martian place driving those knees up. Couple more seconds in this warm up. Just trying to get that hurried up a little bit more. Now, from here, if you want a little bit more, you can take up to a high knee jog, really pumping those arms. Just trying to get that body a little bit warmer before we hit our first strength circuit. Woo! Couple more seconds here. And from here, tap it out side to side. Hands can be on your hips, or you can start doing jump jack arms. And if you're ready, full jumping jack. I have a fan that when I was doing a workout the other day, I slapped it. So don't slap your fan. It hurts your hand. And if you need to pull back, pull back to those taps. Oh, yeah. And let's do some hamstring curls. Hands pull open, heel comes into that butt. Taking a little bit longer in the warm up today, just because it's good for you. Just because it's good for you. Good deep breaths. And let's take it into a little butt kicking run. Try to kick that butt. And if you don't want to jog, just bring those heels up. No problem. You got five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Quick hydration break. We have our first strength circuit. You have five moves back to back. 30 seconds each, no break in between. I'll go through them now real quick, just so you know what to expect. Move number one is an overhead squat. So from the side, you want your feet just outside your hips, slight turn out of the toes. Arms are overhead. They're slightly in front of your face. From here, send those hips down and back. Chest stays lifted. Notice how my arms are staying slightly forward. Knees track forward over the toes. Move number two is the squat jack. So you're going to start. The knees bent, hips down and back, trying to keep this depth, jump out, jump in. So from the side, you're trying to stay deep in that squat. If you don't want to jack, stay in that squat and walk side to side. Move number three is a narrow to wide push up. So you're gonna come on down, knees or toes. Hands are gonna start directly on your shoulders. One push up here. Walk the hands so they're just outside the shoulders. One wide push up. Walk it back in, nice and narrow. Elbows stay close to the body here. Elbows will go about 45 degrees outside of the body here. From there, 
we are going into a mountain climber. Hands on your shoulders. Knees, hips stay low, drive those knees in towards the chest. You can go fast, you can go slow. And then finally we end with a low plank hold. So we have the overhead squat. We have the squat jacks or the squat walks, narrow to wide push-ups, mountain climbers, and planks. 30 seconds a piece. Take a good deep breath. We're gonna get started with the overhead squat in three, two, one, 30 seconds. Let's go, arms up, sink down, and then rise. So you're gonna really feel that core activation here. Trying to hit that 90 degree mark in the legs, chest stays lifted, going at your own pace. We're halfway through. We're gonna go right into that squat jack or the squat walks. Feeling those quads and those glutes, oh yeah. Three, two, one, you can either go right into the jack or stay low and walk it out side to side. Either way, focus on keeping that nice deep bend in the knees. Keep the chest lifted and then we're about halfway, can you try and sink a little bit lower? If you're doing the jacks, same idea, stay low. Feel that heart rate kick up. And don't forget to enjoy that burn. Hit the push-ups in three, two, one. Come on down, narrow to wide. One narrow, walk it wide, one nice and wide. Maybe try one or two on your toes. See how strong you're feeling. And then drop to your knees when you need to. You only got two more moves after this. So really keep up that energy here. Five seconds, we're hitting the mountain climber. Three, two, one, hands under shoulders, drive those knees in. So it's important here, try to keep your shoulder, your hands, your hand, whoa, hands right under your shoulders. So it's tempting to kind of be back here. Try and really shift it forward. Hold it here. Feel my shoulders burn a little bit. Definitely got that core going. Definitely got that sweat. Hitting that plank hold. In five, three, two, one. Elbows under shoulders, hips stay low. Feel free to drop to your knees at any point. 30 seconds. Squeeze. Breathe. Planks are super good for you. They really help strengthen the entire core. Halfway. Last 10 seconds, keep driving those elbows down. Think about squeezing the hips towards the elbows as you lift for three, two, one, recover. Take 30 seconds, hydrate, fix your hair, do what you gotta do, then we're doing it again. Round two, you know what to expect this time. So, maybe try and play with that tempo. Maybe go a little bit faster, get that heart rate up a little bit more. Or maybe slow things down and really hit that range. Shake, quick shake. Starting back up in five, four, three, two, one, overhead squat. So you're trying to hit 90 degrees. So that thigh parallels the ground, hips in line with the knees. It might be especially challenging with the arms overhead. So do your best to hit that range. 10 seconds and then we're hitting the squat jack. We're gonna squat walk. Three, two, one, let's do it. Whether you're walking or jacking, make sure you're staying as low as you can in those legs the entire time. Chest stays lifted, hips down and back. Nice and light on those toes. Ooh, if my legs are burning, I don't know about yours. Last 10, get ready for push-ups. Three, two, one, narrow to wide push-ups. One narrow, walk it wide. Really squeeze the core here. You don't want to sag. You don't want to stick your butt up too much. Keep it in that strong plank position. Getting that upper body strength mixed in. So important. Push-ups, 
work the chest, the arms, the back. Mountain climbers in three, two, one, hands on your shoulders, drive those knees in. Feel free to drop to your knees and pull it in here. No problem. Whatever modification you need to do today. Almost through with this first circuit. We'll get a longer break once we hit the end. So, give me 10 more seconds. Twang hold in three, two, one. Elbows under shoulders, knees or toes, hips stay low. Drop to the knees if you need to. Push. Really drive those elbows down. Lift the chest through the arms. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze everything. You got 10 more seconds, my friends. Hold it strong. Hold it strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Excellent work. Get some of that water. That's not an easy circuit. We are moving into circuit number two. For this one, you only have four moves, but we're doing each one for a full minute. Oh, it's gonna burn. Move one is a lunge to a curtsy lunge. From that side, what that looks like, you take a long step back, find that lunge from this position. You're gonna cross that foot behind so the knees are in line and then cross back. Regular lunge to curtsy lunge, staying low. So from the front, knees in line with the hip, knee crosses behind the other knee. One minute holding it there, it's gonna burn. Each side, move number two is the crab walk. Hands are under shoulders, lift the hips up, lift through the chest and move. You're trying to keep those hips still and square. Little steps forward, little steps back. From here, move number three is the tricep dip from the crab walk position. Elbows face the back of the room, elbows push to the back of the room and up. Notice how my arms are doing the work. We're not doing a hip bridge, it's all through the arms. Then your final move is the Russian twist. Heels can be down on the ground or lifted. Then you have a towel, twist to one side and then the other. Keep that chest lifted. One minute of each, it's gonna be a tough round. One more quick sip of water, get ready to burn those legs. All right, pop on up. We're gonna start with that lunge to curtsy lunge. Three, two, one, let's do it. Long step back, find that lunge, and cross and tap. You can have your hands up together or on your hips. Try and maintain that 90 degree bend in your knee the entire time. A Little bit of a balance challenge as you lift that back leg and move it back and forth. If you want, you can stay in that lunge position and just go through the reps, lowering and lifting to decrease some of that tension on the quad. But we're halfway there. You're also able to hold the curtsy lunge, crossing that leg a little more behind and doing some reps here. So from the front, Little cross and lunge. Making sure that knee is over the toe, chest stays lifted. 15 more seconds here, and we're going right into the second side. Stay low, stay strong. Sometimes strength training helps get the heart rate up a little bit more. Let's switch to the other side. Strength training helps get the heart rate up just as much as we do in cardio, just a little bit different. Second side. Find that low lunge. Square the hips, lift that back foot. Feel that inner thigh squeezing each time you tap it back and forth. And remember, options here. Sometimes getting that full range, feeling that beautiful stretch in the hip is all you need for today. But we're halfway through side two. Ooh, it's a tough one. It is a tough one. Do a couple reps on, a couple reps here, whatever you gotta do. I did a leg workout yesterday and ooh, my legs are still burning. Less than 10 seconds till we hit that crab walk. Three, 
two, one, come on down, quick as you can, fingers face forward, lift the hips, and walk. So you don't have to move fast. You can think of it as staying in control, trying to keep those hips lifted and still. So as much as we're moving, try not to rotate the hips too much. Keep everything nice and square. A little bit of coordination as we move. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Done, I swear. And as always, if it gets to be too intense, feel free to sit down at any point. You're also welcome to just lift and lower here. Notice how this is the option for the crab walk, not for when we hit that tricep dip. So whenever you're at, you got 10 more seconds till we do hit that tricep dip. Hitting the back of the arm. In five, three, two, one. Keep those hips high. Really try and push the elbows to the back of the room. So you're rotating those elbows back. Feel free to take a seat and lean back with the upper body. You're still hitting those triceps just as much. Just takes a little of the effort out. So try not to let the elbows flare to the side. So from the front, a little bit hard to see. Elbows going straight behind me. From the back, straight behind. We're past that halfway mark. Triceps are a smaller muscle group. So if you're feeling that fatigue, you might want to be. We got one more move coming in 15 seconds, that Russian twist. Keeping that chest up, being proud of the work you've accomplished this morning. Russian twist in three, two, one. Heels can be down or lifted. Imagine you have that towel, trying to bring the opposite wrist to the opposite hip. Think about trying to keep that belly button facing forward and just rotating, <coughs> excuse me, just rotating through the chest. If you want a little more of a challenge, lean back a little bit more. Try and scoop that belly button closer to the ground. If you want a little less, drop those heels down to the ground. Halfway. Nice, long, juicy circuit this time. 15 more seconds here. 15 more seconds. Just keep breathing, feeling those obliques. You got three, two, one, recover. Take a whole minute to chill. Hydrate, it is super hot outside, so make sure you're drinking plenty of water. We're gonna be doing that again, because of course we are. So think about what you can do to improve the second time. Can you stay? in that curtsy lunge to lunge combo a little bit longer? Can you sink a little bit lower? On the crab walks, can you lift the hips a little bit higher? Lots of different things to consider. Got about 30 more seconds to recover. Shake it out, fix your hair, do whatever you gotta do. Maybe take a little dance break. Woo -hoo. Whatever floats your boat. 10 seconds if you're still on the ground, so I think about getting up, getting ready to hit it. We're doing it in five, four, three, two, one. Cur lunge to curtsy lunge. Think low and then tap. You're also welcome to just hold this lunge. Just hold it nice and low and just feel that burn. Round two. Also feel free to play with that tempo. Maybe try going a little bit faster, maybe try going a little bit slower. And if your legs start shaking, beautiful. That's how you know you're working hard. Here are your options. Just hit that line, we're halfway. Hands can be up or on your hips. You can also do one regular lunge one curtsy lunge. Whatever feels good. In the last 10 seconds, remember we're going right into side two. In five, three, two, 
One, second side. Hit that lunge. Make sure that knee is right over the toe. So you don't want to be a right over angle. You don't want to be over here. You don't want to be back here. Find 90 degrees and then move. Yeah. Ooh, now we burn in. Now we burn in. How about you? Are you burning? I hope so. Gotta match the burn in the legs with the burn of the sun here in Tucson these days. Halfway through side two. Oh boy. Last 15 seconds. Can you max it out? We're getting out of the legs, we're getting onto the ground. So we're really let it fire here. In five, three, two, one. Come on down, let's find that crabby walk. Fingers forward, lift those hips, let's move. Just be glad that you're not a crab and you don't have to walk like this all the time. Remember, you can also stay where you are, just focus on the hip lift. I don't know about you, but my glutes are super sore after those lunges. So I'd like to focus more on a little bit of that movement and mobility here. It's not a race. It's all about stability through the core. So really keep those abs tight. And if you have more room than I do, feel free to take more steps. I just got a lot of junk in my room. So I can't move too far. 10 seconds till we hit that tricep dip. Three, two, one, elbows to the back of the room, dip and push. Really pushing through the entire hand. And remember, this is all about the arms. So we're not going like this. This don't work your tricep too much. This does. Feel free to sit at any point. I promise you'll still feel it. You'll still get all of the beautiful benefits. Just think about how strong the back of the arm will be. We'll be able to push anything away we want. Halfway. Now the triceps, they are smaller muscle group. So if you're feeling that burn and you're like, I feel like I could have gone for a minute, don't worry about it. Do your thing. Final move, those Russian twists coming at you in 10 more seconds. Can you get three more good reps here? You got five. Three, two, one. Find that twist, heels up or down. Find that towel, rotate. Oh yeah. Remember, we can always lean back for a little bit more. Even if you have your feet down, leaning back further as long as you're keeping that chest up will increase that tension. Super important to have a strong core so that everything we do all, oh, we're always stable, we're always supported. Halfway through these twists. Can you reach a little bit further? Can you twist a little bit further? No pulling back now. You got 10 more seconds here. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Hard work for a whole minute. All right. We are going to be moving into a little bit of a glute series, specifically focused on strengthening those beautiful glutes. It's going to be similar to what we did in the warm up with a little bit more intention. So, you got, you got six different moves. I'll go through them quick, 30 seconds each, no break. We're working for a big burn here. Move number one is a bent knee kick back. So from that tabletop, flex the foot, keep that foot at 90 degrees as you push that heel towards the ceiling, keep that foot flexed, and then squeeze it in, trying to float that knee above the floor. So you're not letting the knee rest, you have a little bit of around in your back. Kick and lower. Move two, you're gonna hold that kick back at the top and do a little pulse. 
making sure those hips stay square to the ground, little pulse that heel to the ceiling. Move three, you're gonna straighten the leg, keeping that foot flex. flexed, you're gonna tap down and lift straight up. Move number four, you're gonna take that leg, move it out to 45 degrees. So instead of straight behind, 45 degrees, turn that toe out, make sure that hip is staying square, so you're not opening the hip, you're just turning the toe out. Lift and lower, you should feel that deep in the side booty. And then your final move, just like in the warm up, bent to straight. Bend it, push, and a little lift at the top. Push, little lift. Each one is 30 seconds. Then we're gonna go straight into the other side and we'll have a little minute challenge at the end. So, one more quick sip of water, quick roll through the wrists. So, we're gonna be on those hands for a while. Let's fire up those glutes. Find that tabletop, starting with that bent leg kick back in three, two, one. Let's do it. Flex the foot, lift, and squeeze. So as you lift that leg, you're trying to make sure those hips stay as still as possible. So it's not so much about height. You start noticing that hip is opening so that both hip bones are not facing the ground, then don't go so high. It is perfectly okay to stop here. It's whatever feels good for you today. We're hitting that pulse in five, three, two, one, lift, hold it up, little pulse, little pulse. Think about actually trying to drive that heel to the ceiling each time. Making sure those hips stay square. Little squeeze, little squeeze. Ooh, raise the roof. You should be feeling that fire. You got 10 seconds to work straightening that leg, doing the straight leg kickback. Three, two, one, straighten that leg. Keep that foot flexed, tap it down. Lift it up. So here you're just stopping when that leg is in line with the hip. If you have the strength and flexibility to go higher, that's okay. We're just trying to stop here, focusing on that control. And if you need to take a break at any point, shake it out. You are welcome to do so. It is a long time doing these back to back. Five seconds, so take it out to 45 degrees. Find that little rotation. Take it out to 45 degrees, rotate the toe, keep hip square, lift here. You should be feeling it more in the side of the glute here, but it should feel similar to the ones we just did. Trying not to dump too much into that knee that's on the ground, trying to keep everything square. We got that bent to straight kick back in three, two, one. From the center, bend, push, little lift at the top. Squeeze it in, kick it out, lift. Oh yeah. Not easy. So breathe. 10 seconds, we're going right into side number two. Three, two, one second side, bend the knee, lift, and lower. So you're just taking it to that back leg. If one side feels a little bit stronger than the other, that is a okay that everyone has one strong side and one not so strong side. Just keep breathing through it, thanking your glutes for being super strong. Pulses in three. Two, one, left pulse. Push the heels to the ceiling. My cat is like knocking on the door. She wants to come do some glutes with us. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Less than 10 seconds, get ready to do the straight leg extension. Three, two, one, straighten that leg, lower, and lift. So here the leg is straight behind you. You're just tapping the toe, then squeezing back up. The glutes are the strongest muscle in the body, so we're just giving them a little extra love today. 
10 seconds, so we tap it up to the side, find that little bit of rotation. Five, four, three, two, one. Find that 45 degrees, slightly rotate that toe out, lift, and lower. If you start kicking stuff, a little bit on the side. Those loads should be shaken. I know mine are. Once again, try to keep that hip down. Even I know I have a tendency to want to lift it and rotate it out to get that height. That's not what we want. Final move in three, two, one. Bring it in, kick out, little squeeze. In, push, lift up. Oh, yes. Big focus on the back of the body here, the glutes, the hamstrings, as well as the back muscles. It's an often forgotten part of the core. Last five, three, two, one. Little recovery. We got two more moves coming your way. We're gonna start with a little parachute. So you're lying down on your belly, stack your hands like a little pillow. Knees are apart, bring those heels together, really drive those heels together from here. You're gonna lift up and lower down. Try to lift those knees as high as you can. Move number two, Superman. Drive the top of the foot into the ground, glue it there. Hands can be to the side or out in front of you. You're gonna lift the chest up and lower down. Notice how I'm not lifting both the arms and the legs, it's just the chest. One minute of each, and then we'll start cooling things down. Sound good? Parachute starts in three, two, one. Let's go. Lift up and down. So your chest, that upper body, is staying glued to the ground. You got one minute of each to finish. It's gonna be a long minute. Feel free to hold this at the top and do some little pulses if that feels better than doing the reps. We're in the home stretch, my friends. Halfway there, halfway through. Keep breathing through it. Keep squeezing those knees up. Can you squeeze a little bit higher? Ten seconds till we're going into that Superman. Three, two, one. Arms are to the side or straight in front of you. Press the top of the foot into the ground. Lift. Up. Peeling those shoulder blades up off the mat. Big squeeze. Big squeeze. It doesn't matter how high you lift as long as you're lifting. Feel free to tap the arms down in between each rep. Also, feel free to hold at the top if that feels good for you. We are halfway. Keep pressing the top of the feet into the ground by squeezing the glutes and then really squeezing to lift higher and higher. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Open through the chest. Last 10. Three, two, one, done. Press those hips back, toes together, knees apart. Find that child's pose. Whew. What a challenge today. Take some good deep breaths. Let the heart rate settle down. Let's stretch it out. Excellent work today, everyone. It's hard to wake up, get that workout in, but we did it. Ooh, we did it. All right, come forward, bring one foot front, knee over ankle, let those hips just sink. Making sure that knee is right over the ankle so they're not all the way forward over the toes or pull back. Just hold it here. And then straighten through the front leg, flex the toes, square the hips, and reach the nose to the toes. My cat is just sitting outside the door, giving me like a death stare. Like you're not doing anything, let me. Just gonna have to wait. 
Let's switch other foot front, knee over ankle. Those hips just sink. So important to stretch, get all of the benefits that we worked for today. So let everything settle down. So that we can come back next week and hit it a little harder. Straighten that front leg. Square in the hips, feel that beautiful opening through the back of the leg. Hamstrings can be pretty tight. And let's find 90 degrees in both legs. So 90 degrees in the front leg, 90 degrees in the back leg. Lift the chest, hinge forward. If you want a deeper stretch, feel free to straighten that back leg. Finding that pigeon stretch, opening through those glutes. And let's switch coming into the other side. 90 degrees in both legs. Lift the chest. Hinge forward. Maybe straighten that back leg. Ooh, feel those glutes stretch. Feels good after all of those glute work we did. All right, both feet on the ground. Let yourself just hang over. You don't necessarily have to touch the floor. You can keep a little bit of a bend in the knees. You just want to feel that stretch to the low spine. Take a nice deep bend through the knees. Take a slow roll up all the way to standing. Once you're at the top, grab a foot. Try and keep the knees together. If you need to hold on to something to help balance that, it's okay. Tucking the tailbone under, opening up those quads. And let's switch. And let's drop the chin, cross the hands in front, press open through the upper back. Taking a little more time here to really open through the shoulder blades. Your hands coming up. Bring one arm across, gentle shoulder stretch. And other side. And then open through the chest. Feel free to grasp the hands behind you. If you want a deeper stretch, really open. Take some deep inhales, fill up the lungs. And then take a couple twists through the spine, releasing those heels. Rolling out the shoulders. <laughs> Shaking it out. Excellent work today, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for Hit and Core. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Feel free to chat with me in the chat. If not, I will see you next Tuesday. Summer B schedule should be out soon. Thanks again, everyone. Have a great day.